माता जी कैन यू प्यूट योर सेल्फ प्लीज क्या म्यूट योर सेल्फ समोरी वाज टॉकिंग बिहाइंड यू आई थिंक ओके एनीवे सो वे बोल रहे या सो द गोपीज आर नाउ इमेजिनिंग व्हाट विल हैपन व्हेन दे शो द प्रूफ टू मदर शो द फाइनली दे गेट टू हर हाउस and they all start shouting at the same time maiya bahar niklo maiya bahar niklo you know maiya please come out the proof you wanted we got it right now so we want to show you the proof that your son is a butter thief and he should have came out and they said so you wanted the proof we got your son You caught your son red-handed. You can see the proof. There's butter in his hand. There's butter on his face. In the meantime, Krishna has sneaked into his house and went into his bedroom and he smeared his face with the, you know, dust and ink and all those kind of things, as if he's come from school, and he fell asleep. Mother Yashoda comes out. She sees that Gopi is holding somebody else's son. And she said, "Oh, so where is my son?" The gopis removed their veil. I said, "Here it is." And before she could put the center, she noticed it was somebody else's son. Some stories say it was her own son. And Mother Shuddha started chastising them even more now, that your son is steals the butter, somebody else's son steals the butter, and you blame my my son, and you say you got the proof. There's no proof. Somebody else's son is stealing. And you're blaming my son. How dare you do that? I told you, my son has no need to steal butter. Nine hundred thousand cows in our house. Don't you know that? Best butter he can get. Don't you know that? In the meantime, Krishna comes out, looking completely innocent, rubbing his eyes as if he was sleeping, and he has just gotten up from the bed. She's pretending to be like that, looking completely innocent. And he says to Mr. Shoda, "My ya, kya chal raha hai? Kya ho raha? What is happening? Na shor kya ho raha? Why is this noise going on? What's this all this noise?" She, Shoda, my ya, told him in a very angry mood that Lala, these gopis are always blaming you for stealing butter. They don't know how innocent you are. How wonderful you are! Other boys steal the butter, and they blame you. I think they're jealous of me and you. That's why they're blaming you. And Krishna, with all his innocence and sweet smile and sweet face, sweet innocent eyes, he says, "Maya, I told you, they're always accusing me falsely. You know, and I know, have no need to steal. My father has nine hundred thousand cows." But Maya, now I'm really angry. I promise you that from now on, I will go to their house. I will steal butter. I'll break their pots and I'll pitch their babies, because that's the treatment they deserve for falsely accusing me. They call me a thief anyway, so I may as well do it. Now the gopis are really disappointed. They don't know what to say. They're so frustrated, and they're really, really mad, and they start to leave. They've gotten maybe two hundred yards. Krishna comes running behind them, goes gets in front of them, puts his hands on his back like this, not his back, on his waist like this, and he says to them, "This time, it was the other boy. Next time, I'll make sure it's your husband whose hand you're holding when you talk to my mother. So you better not ever go back to complain about me to my mother." So that's the end of the past time. But the point is, the millions of past times like this—they're all wonderful. They're all amazing. They're so pleasing, and give so much bliss to the devotees that everyone is drowning in the bliss of the waves of the oceans. Call his past time, past times. 
not just humans, but the rivers, the trees, the mountain, the kunjas, the latas, the creepers, they're all drowning in this bliss, in this place, observing these pastimes. Just like we forget everything, like family obligation, our relationship to our body, our day and night, or if we eat because we get so busy trying to earn money or other mundane things, similarly the devotees become so immersed in the pastimes of Krishna, they forget everything else. Why? Because the pastimes are so sweet, so wonderful, and so amazing. And it's just one of the many. So I'll stop here. Sorry, I went past the time. But that's just one of the pastimes that so sweet, so amazing that uh, that uh, gives him this Leela Madhuriya, which is the sweetness of his pastimes. One of the four qualities that are unique to Krishna. So I'm going to pause, see if there are any questions or comments. Very nicely explained, Prabhuji. Very nice. Thank you very much. Thank you, Prabhu. Thank you, Prabhuji. So wonderful pastime. <laughs> we really enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you, Prabhuji. Thank you. The way you did it was is the best. Oh, thank you, Prabhu. Very, very interesting. Yeah. I liked when you were copying like Krishna. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when you don't smile, you're serious and you're talking. Hare that's, Hare. that's the right way. <laughs> thank you, Prabhuji. Thank you again. Sure, thank you. Any comments? Yes, I sorry, you. any questions? When it's already done, Prabhuji, now. <laughs> yeah. All the pressure is released. I have a lot of work, but uh, just listening to this. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Prabhu. Thank you. So You're welcome. Okay. Thank you, okay. Thank you again. One chakal putar bhish chukha paas in the bhev cha. Patitana paavne bhyo vashri. Yeah, Shilpa Upati. Thank you all. Thank you, Krishna Prabhu. Yeah. Hari Bhav.